Right, Tuesday the 23rd of August. We have got crops that we should be drilling at the moment, but uh, we keep missing the rain. It's too dry. We've got grass seed that we should be putting in, uh, turnips and oilseed rape. But yeah, unfortunately we keep missing the rain, so too dry to put any seed in the ground. I can't start hedge trimming until the 1st of September, so I've just been doing maintenance jobs at the moment. Uh, what I need to do actually is adjust the uh, stabilizers on the lower link arms. This headstock, for some reason, is a Category 4. I think it's about 97 centimetres, whereas everything else on the farm is about 82 centimetres, like mower, the topper, the fertiliser spinner, the hedge car, is all about is Category 3. What I'm talking about is the difference between that ball and that ball. That is uh, 97 centimetres. So I'll have to find out, see if we can get a different headstock for this drill, a Category 3 one instead of Cat 4. Yeah, so what we've got to do is adjust these link arms so they're further apart. I don't know how well you can see in here, but we take that clip off there and wind that that way, I think. Uh, no, that way. I did just put some grease in it to help a little bit. Now, there is a little groove there. I'm pretty sure that is to mark Cat 4 where it needs to be for cat four. Do the same on this side. Yeah, pretty much spot on. Right, so jobs I'm going to do on this drill today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is move this button, this calibration button. I'm going to move that around here so that I can reach it from when I put the bag in. And I'm going to take these belt markers off and just put some blanks on the pipes and cable tie the pipes. We don't need belt markers. I need to move the tram lining uh, spouts because at the moment the track width on the tram lines are too narrow. So I need to move the inside one to the outside one, basically. I've got to do it on here. And then lastly, I just want to go along and check all these uh, drill spouts, drill coulters, are properly in line and where they're supposed to be. Because we noticed in the spring drilling what we'd done, uh, that there was actually some that weren't quite spaced properly. So I'll go through and check all them. I'm pretty sure that every uh, drill coulter is supposed to be in line with one of the rings on this on this press it is drizzling with rain outside right now but it's not going to make any difference to the fields to the ground the fields would literally take buckets of water right now as a lot of you know how dry it is it's like just dust out there so I'm hoping this end is going to be heavier than that end because I'm just about to unbolt this end. But if it's not, I'm probably about to go flying. So we'll see. At least we'll have it on camera if I do go flying.
Perfect. What I've got to do now is find something to blank the pipes off, and uh, that's that bit done. So that seed coulter right there seems to be one of the ones that's not in the right place. We look down the look down the by that press ring, you can see the coulter not in line. So we need to move it outwards a bit, but the frame is in the way. Actually no, there's a bit of room there. It needs to go that way. This is a two-gun job, apparently. Put that one on there. Let me go on. Nope, the frame's in the way. I'll go and have a look. See, that's lined up now. Could do with going a tiny bit more, but it's a lot better than it was. Right, I've switched those tram lining spouts. It's the next day now, by the way. So, yeah, it's uh, what, Wednesday morning. I didn't get this finished yesterday. I got a bit distracted with other things. So we turn the fan on and we switch it to tram line. I just want to check that I've done it right and I've got the tram line and spouts in the right place. Is it that one? Yeah, and the tram line's on number three. We'll go and have a look. I've got, some, I've got some blanks for the end of the pipes, so they won't leak. It should be this one as well. Yeah, that one's blocked. That one's blocked. That was good. I'm glad that's worked. Uh, so what I did, let me just climb over here. I switched. Uh, that's the tram lining uh, unit, and that so is that for this side of the drill. I switched. That was like uh, here on number seven or eight. So I just switched that one with that one to block that. That one stayed the same, and then I did the same on that side. No, I didn't. I just switched the plugs because it's got half shot off on there I just switched the plugs into so that it shut the right one off and uh, yeah jobs are good and I think I'm done on here now oh, actually no I've just got to cable tie up some of those plugs and then I am done and then I'll go and find another job to do just start rolling some more uh, cultivating on Wednesday afternoon uh, even though we had that 16 mil of rain last week you wouldn't know it look at all that dust you wouldn't even know it's rained. Just, and if you're wondering why I'm rolling the cultivator and it's just to squash down all the lumps, because because uh, you quite often get seeds in, so, in the lumps and then they don't grow until I drill the field. All right, Thursday morning. We've had a nice bit of rain this morning, actually. Woke up this morning. I'm just going to have a quick look in the rain gauge. Woke up this morning and it was tipping it down with rain. So, And they had forecast the rain to miss us. So, thankfully, it's hit us. We've had a fair bit as well, by the looks of things. Yeah, 14, looks like 14 and a half mil. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain anymore today, so I might as well tip that out. That's good, that is. Friday morning. Uh, Simon's actually out there, coal man, somewhere in that field. This is uh, winter barley stubble. I'm in the JCB. 
and just got to just come and uh, move a big old tree branch that's hanging down off a willow tree. Mind you, it looks like the willow tree is about to fall down as well. I did I did cut all the ivy off it uh, back in the spring. She's got a right old lean on. See what we can do with this grab. And with one hand as well, because I've got the other hand on the camera. But this is normally the easiest way to deal with these tree branches. What do you reckon, Eric? Boom out. Hopefully the tree doesn't fall on us. Well, we knocked it down. Can you see all the ivy's died on it, that? It should be a lot lighter. grab hold of it and carry it to the bonfire. I've already got a massive bonfire built up, ready to go. Come back in a minute and scoop that bit into the bushes. We'll take this to the bonfire in one go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've just been out rolling uh, some turnips in that Simon has drilled, and now I'm going home. Bye.